Good evening. My name is Michelle Tovin. I'm serving as Mayor Pro Tem for the evening to fill in for Mayor Christie. Today at our work session, it's Monday, November 14th, we had a department head report from Will Richter, our library services director. In his report, he talked about a lot of stuff. We have a really awesome library. It's always fun to talk them up. They're the busiest library in Northeast Minnesota outside of Duluth. And they've been rebounding a lot post pandemic. Their visits have been up 68% over 2021. And they've done a lot of new programming since COVID, including some online stuff like online story time. And they've been working really hard on their community partnerships with dif different organizations in our community too. And one thing Will emphasized was that our library is mostly locally funded. It's used countywide. He said about or more than half of the users of our library are not city residents, but the city funds 85% of the library. Some of the challenges they're facing over the next couple years is maintaining service levels with levels of funding. They have a lot of building maintenance coming up. Um, the building is 23 years old, so there are some bigger needs there. And then we want to work on, as a city, a more equitable funding formula between us and Itasca County to kind of balance out the usage between city and county, too. And then in our regular meeting, we had a pretty short agenda this week. The first item, though, was adopting a resolution canvassing and declaring the results of the November 8th, 2022 Grand Rapids elections. So Mayor Dale Christie won re-election, and we have two new council members coming in in January, Molly McGregor and Tom Sutherland. They'll be seated in January. Other than that, we, of interest, we adopted a resolution authorizing a grant application to the IRRR Development Infrastructure Grant Program for help with development infrastructure costs associated with the Arbor Wood project. That's a pretty exciting thing coming up. We also adopted a resolution approving property tax abatement related to the IRA Civic Center in the city of Grand Rapids and preliminary approval to the issuance of those bonds and held a public hearing on that. And then along with that, we adopted a resolution providing for the sale of $10 million in general obligation temporary bonds. So those are all different ways to help fund the repairs and those needed updates at the Civic Center. And some of those things include design, construction, reconstruction, mechanical upgrades, engineering, all of that. But we'll be replacing the roof, the ice plant, and making a lot of other needed upgrades to other features of the Civic Center. That was more or less it for this week's council meeting. So if you have any questions on anything, you can contact any member of the council or our city administrator, Tom Pagel, as well. Thank you. Thank you.